Do you think a school's environment has an effect on a student's academic success? Uh, sometimes, depending on what the circumstances are, such as right now we have the construction ongoing at our school of Highland, and we have currently the joint schools, and I, I think it affects us because with the construction going on, we don't have as many open classrooms at Highland, and so to compensate for that, we have to go down to the park side, and I just don't like it myself because it's it's kind of a nuisance sometimes to keep switching. Like they did put the shuttle buses in to make it a bit easier, but I, I'd rather be here at Highland. Like some classes that were at Highland before are down at Parkside, and I, I it's, it's hard to mix my class, like to get the classes I want because some specific classes I want are at Highland, some are at Parkside. And I can't like keep going between them constantly. School environment is more than just the bricks and the mortar of uh, the building of the school. That's part of it, and of course, I really pride myself in working with our caretaking staff to do the cleanse and cleansiness of the building and the property to the best of their abilities and their workload. But what I think about school environment is really the students and really having an opportunity for them to make and create the school of their dreams with what they like to see as part of the school spirit and that type of environment. And we call that a positive school climate. And so how do we go about by really doing that? So we ask the kids, what would it look like for you? Um, what will it be if we try to create it? How can we create it? And how, how much do you need to create that? And for them, the kids to really feel empowered and to really build the school of their dreams. So absolutely, school environment to me means positive school climate. The environment is like very I hate to use the word but maybe slummish, like not really anybody cares. It'd be hard for anybody that does want to try and get an education or something like that to, to go and actually try harder than nobody else is, everybody else is just being rambunctious and not, frankly, not get, giving a care at all around them. Um, okay, so has the construction at Dundas Valley personally affected you? Uh, yes, it did. Uh, because of the construction and having to go between uh, Highland and Parkside, I've had to take some courses at Parkside. In general, I really don't like Parkside. As a school, I don't like it. And I also wanted to take uh, grade 12 computer engineering, but because of the school transfer thing, I, haven't, I wasn't able to, and I've missed out on the course that I wanted to do, and I got to take a fifth year to get it back. It hasn't affected me because I came into this job knowing that that was part of my responsibilities as a principal, really, to merge two schools together and heal a community to celebrate the greatness that will be under one roof. Um, from um, the perspective of the board, which is really my job as an agent of the board in this community, I think it's the best thing for the community to have one school with um, just a little over a thousand kids, which really isn't that many. Uh, and all the different types of programs that we can now offer the kids because there's a critical mass uh, of kids who want that course. So as a result, um, I'm excited about that. Yeah. So if I take the question and I turn it around to say, yes, it has affected me personally in a positive way, then that would be my reply. But it has not affected me negatively on a personal level. Yeah.